Hi Libra, welcome to Empowered by Divine. You've reached um, the extended. My name is Melody Rose and I am your earthly starseed. Click the white icon button, okay guys, to be able to go back to the very first part of this reading. Okay, let's see. What have you guys already surrendered in this connection? And I'm going to get your blocks. We will do Romance Angels as well. And I'll do a couple clarifiers. I won't need a whole lot. What have you already surrendered, energy number one? Ooh, you surrendered your need to always be right. Very good. What else have you surrendered? Anything else here for this connection? Thank you. Surrender to inner peace. You're surrendering to your intuition. You're starting to listen to those cues. Surrendering to the idea that you can that you can fix someone. So this energy number one, if you have been dealing with somebody else, I feel like you're letting go of that person. Um, you have been seeking help from others. You're coming to peace with things. And I feel like you're, you've are you really let go of the at attachment of end results of situations, people, places, and things that maybe you're trying to manifest, um, which is beautiful. And again, the surrender to always be right. I'm going to put them back. You could be working on the same things. Uh, energy number two. What have you surrendered? Libra. I'm sorry if I said Aries earlier. This is a Libra reading. If I said that, I may have said it by accident for a reason. You might be dealing with an Aries. Okay. Energy number two. Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. So you guys got Earth three times now. Three times. So I feel like there's an extra message here for you to stop procrastinating and get out into nature. You've also surrendered your ego. Perfect. So you've surrendered to the natural world, your ego, something that you've been putting off here. You've surrendered to it and setting limits. You're learning that no is a full sentence and that you can say no to other people. And you've really learned how to dive in and pray and meditate, I feel. Good for you. Let's see what blocks are hindering the connection right now. What blocks are hindering the connection for number one? Intuition. So you need to follow your intuition a little bit more here to bring in this healing and domestic harmony, they're saying. Yeah, I have to take a little bit more leadership in your life right now. Yeah to heal and get yeah to bring in the love and the healing okay it all starts with using your intuition to bring in this harmony okay to have this happy ending we have happy ending three times on energy number one's side that is crazy it's time to take lead they said it's time to heal everything between you and all these karmic cycles and life cycles okay wow you've really been strong through this healing process i feel it's just like you need that one last little push okay to make a little bit more of an effort to going forward environment number two environment is affecting this Ooh, karmic completion anything else blocked so it's letting this end cycle complete yeah okay so it's having the resistance to change okay the relationship the allowing the coming back together or the letting go of whatever it is look at this you're both getting this intuition to happy ending but it's having this self-discipline to let go of the karma between you two karmic completion my lights just went so i feel that's to be true also um there's some lessons here for energy number two to learn about their finances and career okay to have a little bit more um discipline with them i'm feeling there's some lessons there with that teaching and learning card okay let's jump in see what else there is here for messages with clarifiers um i want to see what the decision is 
what the karma is. What's the decision here? We have make a choice three times with the seven of cup energy. Ten of cups. Or ten of pentacles. What else? I'm pulling energy. <laughs> to be victorious. Two times here. Which route to go? Which home? Okay, I'm getting the message. Which home to go to? Which option to pick? Which there might be... This The individual on the first energy may have had two people to pick from. And they're... Yeah. The choice is about using your intuition to follow what you believe in to take charge of your decision and I feel like you're going to end up chasing energy number one I feel like that is the decision um, but I feel like there was fear wants to keep coming out there's been a little bit of a resistance because of fear there's been a bit of a resistance to surrender yeah emotional we have the three of cups and the nine of cups but there's been a disconnect somewhere with the emotions of the rain somebody wasn't surrendering I don't think to the connection because I have the divine timing card I get another one on this make a choice please yeah somebody wasn't giving equally to the relationship but I feel like they see now they've made room in their heart Okay, what was the karma? Because we have karma on both sides. Hmm. Somebody, somebody could have been drinking too much. The king of uh, knight of cups, but he's drinking here. It could have broken the foundation of the marriage or the relationship. Or this is, oh, this is the generational cycle here that you're breaking. Yeah, because you've taken your mask off to it. You've you've stared it in the eyes and you're, you're pushing forward to build your own life the way that you know how to. So that was the generational um, karma. Let's see what the other karma is on this side. Judgment's being called. Feeling energy on the bottom. So having the... Okay, there might have been overindulging here too. Or um, the two of you may have been going through cycles because of the drinking. Aries uh, reading was very similar. Maybe that's why I kept saying Aries. Um, but it was very similar. I feel like there's a lot of regret around this overindulge, uh, overindulgence, and we did get environment on your side here. Judgment is being called. The choice is being made to walk away from that behavior and choose love, choose the relationship, not choosing the overindulgent energy, right? Whatever that was for them, and heading towards this perfect, beautiful sun. The person is getting, yeah, that was the karma between you two, I feel. Yeah, I feel like there was some snaky energy here. I'm going to put that one back. What are you angry about, energy number two? You're angry. You've taken a lot of time to come to peace with things. We've got four of swords. And the strength, we're getting the same energy. Look at that, the strength card with the cycles. You've taken a lot of time in, okay, to be able to have the energy and the strength. I feel to forgive this person and the cycles, to let go. It's too many. What are we letting go of? I'll show you these in a second. It's 
somebody may have I'm getting the word verbal abuse I don't know why but I'm getting that with this card you're letting go of the I'm getting it might not even be verbal abuse but I'm getting that somebody is letting go of the words of the past and they just want to you guys just want to see balance but that's what you're trying to let go yeah there was a beautiful connection at one time between you guys I think it's going to come back around Woman holding a coin, envy, and man holding a heart. Can I get some clarifiers on this? This is the action they want to take here. They're strategizing this happy family. Okay, well, what are they strategizing? Because they're watching you. You could very well be a Capricorn because we have more Earth on their side. If not, you're just showing up. You might have a heavy Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus in your, in your chart energy number uh, two. What does energy number one want to do here? They're strategizing this happy family. We have it three times now. No, we've had it four times now. Happy ending. Yeah, to be victorious. It's coming back out. They just want, yeah, they're trying to manifest this reconciliation. They love you and they want a reconciliation. They have a lot of emotion for you. They're trying to manifest this coming together yeah it's time to take action that's the union it's coming together it's coming to life I feel like this energy needs to come to energy number two you're having this strength <coughs> energy number two I'd like to know what this message in a bottle is what is this please yeah you want the fate to change yeah, you want to heal the rest of this together, I feel. This is what you want to say to this person. Yeah, you want to heal. You want your Ten of Cups back here. And you want to heal. I feel like it's a very forgiving energy. And I feel like you want to tell this person, energy number two, that energy, sorry, energy number two, you want to tell energy number one that you really are forgiving right now. You're feeling, yeah, you want them to come in and um, manifest this. What they want to manifest, you're ready. You're ready. The ships have come in. You, I think you feel it coming. Look at this. We got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. You both hold a lot of energy and love for each other. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. But look at this person wants to say it. This person's still thinking. I feel like energy number two, you're holding back. But look, you both have the vict victory card on both your movement. So I feel like you guys both want the same thing, which is absolutely beautiful. I feel like it's going to come together for you. Let's get Romance Angel for these two, please. Get another one. Thank you. Make the effort. Yeah, it's just that last little bit of effort. I feel like you guys are going to come together into this new loving relationship. This could also be new love and you guys are figuring out your own stuff. But it does look like there's history here between you. Yeah, you're, fi yeah, you're healing the family issues between you. Yeah, there is chemistry here still, they're saying. Pay attention to red flags. And honeymoon so I feel like in the past there was that deception and that's why this person on uh, energy number two has been really a little bit standoffish there could be children involved you guys could have children together and there is past life karma that has been going on between you two I feel like you're clearing it up though Libra let's get some messages from spirit and I wanted to use a different deck what did I do with that oh here it is let's get some messages from spirit please can I get some advice please for energy wow this is for the connection watch and wait it's going to come together and surrender you guys both need to surrender can I get one for energy number one please advice please spirit Thank you. Advice for number, energy number two. Thank you. 
dream the world into being. Okay, energy number one, you got be at home. Wow. Yeah, it's time to go home. It's time to um, self-reflect as well. Be generous of spirit. Be thankful. Be loyal to what and who you love. Wow. The, bun the abundant universe will provide for you. Keep on your path, energy number one. Okay, let's see. Energy number two, sweet results await truth descend trisends into illusion so i feel like the truth is going to be shown to you okay this person i feel is going to tell you how they really feel trust in divine detour so this is not happening right now they're saying don't worry surrender to the divine detours and just watch and wait it's all going to come in together uh really quick i'm going to get a message from each of you to one another energy number one please spirit to what two energy number two energy number one what would they say to energy number two please Energy number one. What would they say to energy number two, please, for Libra? Whoa, there we go. Okay. Energy, thank you. Thank you. Wow, you are on your way to meeting your true love. So I feel like this person, now energy number one feels like, or sorry, energy number two feels like this is true love. Okay, so first energy would say to the second energy in the end you tried and you cared and sometimes that is enough they want you to know that they don't um, take for granted the love and the caring that you gave them okay and where does the power come from it comes from within and I feel like that's them trying to tell you that they're trying to be so strong and that you have been so strong for them you know through all of this Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. So that's what you would say, energy number two, to energy number one. And I feel like you're having a little bit of a bitter attitude here too, because it says the hottest loves has ended. The sorry, the hottest love has the coldest ending. So I feel like you you just you want them to know that you're still hurt. Start reclaiming who you are. Yeah, my ears are ringing and that's your advice to them about this addiction or whatever it was that was going on wow you are moving on to a steady and reliable path okay spirit wants to know that wants you two to both know that okay guys much love light and laughter and stay empowered